Hey guys, Ryan here with Agar Spray Drones. In this video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of the new Autel Evo Max 4T XE that we'll be offering. So this is the box that you're gonna get. Set the big box to the side here. Got your Evo Max on the front. Set that down. Again, cut it open the top. So this is the hard shell case that you're gonna get. It's gonna say Evo Max on the front, so you can identify what it is if you have more than one of these Alto drones. To open it up, you've got these, kind of like a double cam lock style latch. You're gonna push down and pull out on the bottom. And then we'll open that up. And inside here, you'll see that we will have our remote, some pamphlets here, set those aside for now, and our drone itself as well as three battery slots here, plus one in the drone. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is look at our remote here. So the first thing you'll notice, it has a very large eight inch touchscreen on it. It's very slim and feels very high quality, feels very heavy to the touch. You've got a four hour battery life on it, as well as a 12 and a half mile range from the remote to your drone. Set to the side here. All right, so under the remote, We've got a nice little foam divider. Get that out of the way here. Under here is going to be your cords and your chargers. So first in the middle is going to be part of our charger block, and this will plug into one of our batteries. Got the other end of that charger block that will plug into your outlet. Next we have our props. We have one, uh, one each direction here. We have a charger block for and cords for our remote. We've got our strap if you want to strap your remote and put it around your, your neck or lanyard. And then we have a some more info booklet here for us, user guide, stuff like that. Looks like we get a nice little lens cleaning uh, towel in here as well. And then in here you've also got an extra set of joysticks in case you lose the ones that are already on the remote. So next we're gonna go into our drone itself here. Just gonna pull it straight out, move the case to the side here. We're going to first start by unfolding it. So it looks like we're gonna do the front first because these are gonna stop you from unfolding the rears first. So on the back here, you're gonna have your battery. You're going to pinch the sides, pull out. This is going to be a hot swappable battery system. Slide it back in. You'll hear a very noticeable click. That's very nice to hear. On the back here, you've got your USB-C port. This is only gonna be used for a service port. You cannot be able to charge off of this one. Uh, the middle spot is going to be blank, and then the left side is going to be your SD card, and there is one that comes in the drone from the factory. This is gonna be where you're gonna store your pictures and stuff like that. Looking at this drone, it feels very quality. It's got metal and plastic on it. Uh, very heavy, which is always a good factor of quality itself. That battery, when it clipped in and out, you could physically hear that click. Your sensors are all up top and your sensor to down low, just as you would be used to it. Uh, arms, whenever they are open and closed, they feel good and there's kind of a sweet spot in there where you can tell that it will kind of catch and open or close. Got your USB-C port up top for your attachments. Uh, of the spotlight or the speaker system that you can put on this drone. You've got your beacon up top so for night flights. And then the most important part here is gonna be our gimbal. So we're going to take the cover off here. So you just pull from the bottom. It has a little release tab on here and it's got two hooks at the top so it'll end up like that whenever you take it off. Your phone cover, you can toss this. This is just gonna be there to su uh, support your camera during shipping. And most importantly, now we can get into the camera system itself. So your, your zoom camera is going to be a half-inch CMOS sensor. 
a 48 megapixel or 12 megapixel is two different settings that you can play with. On your wide angle, it's going to be a 48 or a 12 megapixel as well, plus a night mode on that. Your range finder is going to be about three quarter mile on the accuracy there. And then your thermal is going to be a 640 by 512 resolution. Another big perk of the camera system is actually the object tracking and identification. So as you're flying around and you want to start identifying things, it'll identify people, vehicles, other objects that the program is set up to do. Another thing you guys want to know about is the speed of this drone. This drone in sport mode or what they call ludicrous mode is going to get you to about 50 miles an hour. It's going to be IP43, pretty much water resistance rating. That's going to be for light rain. So you can fly this in light rain, have no issues. This drone also has what Altel is calling mesh networking, which is basically swarming. That is two drones to one remote. This is Autel's flagship from their quadcopter lineup. This is going to be great for search and rescue, public safety, fire departments, police departments, first responders. You can also use this for deer recovery or wildlife management, as well as other surveying tasks because of the laser rangefinder. You also have 3D mapping. This also has the best camera and sensor setup of the Autel lineup. Stay tuned for more content coming on this drone and several other drones in the lineup. Thanks for watching.